What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing a very cool, very sleek, very modern work from home set of peripherals from Logitech. Now, first off, let's talk about why you would want a small, compact set of peripherals. In my case, my wife works from a MacBook Pro exclusively and wanted a good feeling keyboard and mouse combo that would allow her to put her MacBook up on a stand, keep it at eye level, and then she could use the keyboard and mouse to edit instead of using the keyboard that's on the MacBook as well as the trackpad. So that brings me to kind of my first use case, which is if you just have a laptop. If you have a laptop and you work from home, you do photo editing, video editing, whatever the case is, and you're just looking for a sleek, compact mouse and keyboard option, then the Logitech series that I'm gonna to showcase today could be a perfect option for you. Now I know everybody's gonna be like, well, Cole, why don't you just look at like a 65% keyboard or a 60% keyboard? But the problem with those is that a lot of times they're missing a lot of keys, such as function buttons, as well as arrow keys, which was a huge thing that my wife needed. Enter the Logitech K380. Now the K380 is a small, slim, and compact wireless keyboard that works for both PC and Mac. Now asterisk, as you can see on the box, this is the 4Mac version. Now, if you get the regular K380, it should work with both. However, this has all of the dedicated Mac OS keys already on it. And with that, let's talk about connectivity, as this version of the K380 only has Bluetooth. It doesn't have any sort of adapter or anything like that, which is okay because you're not going to be gaming or doing anything crazy intensive on a keyboard of this stature. So Bluetooth works just fine. Now, when I say this thing is small, I mean this thing is small. That's what she said. This is roughly the same size as like a 60% or a 65% keyboard. However, you still have the function row at the top and you have the arrow keys. And even in this super small form factor, you get a very functional keyboard. Now this is the rose colorway. It does come in a lavender color, a light blue color, as well as I think a dark gray option. And one of the most unique things with this keyboard is that it does have circular keycaps. My wife loves them. It took me a minute to get used to them. However, once I did, it's totally fine. Now this is not a mechanical keyboard. However, it's not like the standard squishy, ushy membranes that you might be used to. This is definitely a lot closer to the butterfly switch that's in the MacBook Pro, but it definitely falls short of that quality. But overall, it gives you a very good typing experience in such a small form factor. Now the beautiful thing is that when Logitech launched this keyboard, they decided to launch a mouse that went with it, which is where the Logitech Pebble mouse comes in. This little thing is so light, so small, and so compact that much like the keyboard, you could just throw this in your backpack and be on your way, which is really a big feature for both of these. Now the Logitech Pebble is a silent mouse, so the clicks are very quiet compared to your rather clicky sort of loud sound that you'd expect from a regular mouse. Scroll wheel is very tactile. It is clickable as well, but this comes in all the same colorways as the K380 keyboard does, so you can match your setup perfectly. Now one cool little feature is that if you just pop this cover off here, it's just a magnetic cover, you actually have access to the battery as well as a 2.4 gigahertz adapter that Logitech provides. But with that wireless adapter, it allows you the flexibility of using Bluetooth or that fast 2.4 gigahertz connection, whichever you prefer. But when it comes to utility, I mean, it has your standard right and left click, scroll wheel, everything that you'd expect from a mouse. It features PTFE feet on the bottom for a super slick lighting experience on any mouse pad. And again, because it's part of the same line that Logitech has, it comes in a bunch of different colors to fit you. Now, when it came to a mouse pad, I thought for sure I was going to have to look elsewhere, but sure enough, enough, Logitech came in clutch again with their Studio Series mouse pad. Now this line of mouse pad, again, comes in a lot of different colorways to kind of match not only the Pebble mouse and the K380, but to match your style and your own personal flair. So this is the darker rose colorway. So it's slightly darker than, for example, the rose color that this comes in. It's definitely darker, but it complements it really well and gives your setup a nice look. As far as quality, as you can see, it's very flimsy. It's just a standard mouse pad with an anti-slip backing. And then on the front, it is pretty silky smooth and offers a very good gliding surface. Now, if you're like, Cole, it's 2022. I want a huge mouse pad. I want a desk mat. They offer that. Out of the same Studio Series lineup, they have a full-size desk mat that can fit your needs. And again, it comes in all the same great colors that the mouse pad does. But as far as being a great setup to use for work from home or on the go, I want to show you a little bit of these peripherals on my wife's desk, kind of give you an idea of how you could use it yourself. So as you can see, this is my wife's desktop. She has a very small workspace. 
So this Logitech K380 in the Pebble Mouse fit perfectly on here. Her MacBook Pro is elevated on just an aluminum stand, so it meets a little bit more eye level, but you can see how small and compact this setup actually is. And the nice thing is it doesn't take up too much actual desk space, but it still allows her to have all the function keys and you get the arrow keys on the keyboard as well, which is a nice added bonus. And the rose and dark rose colorway of all of these peripherals looks really good against the white backdrop. So that's something to think of as well. But all in all, whether you're working from home or you just need a nice portable wireless setup, definitely check these out as they are small and compact and they're very user friendly. Now, I also wanted to show you the size comparison up against a 75% keyboard like this EpoMaker TH80, just so you can see its true size. Now, let's talk pros and cons. First up, pros for the K380. It's very small, it's very compact, very easy to set up, and it comes in a bunch of different colors to match your style. On the back, it features rubberized feet, but other than that, you're not really gonna get a whole lot of adjustability. So it pretty much is a lay flat design, which brings me to my really only con with this keyboard, which is how thin it actually is. Because it's so thin, you can't actually use any sort of wrist rest with it. So if you're like me and you like to use your wrist rests, this keyboard isn't really going to allow you to use any of them. I tried foam, wood, acrylic, even my thinnest wrist rest still left me at a weird angle because any of the wrist rests are still just thicker than the keyboard so you're left with your hands at like a negative angle which is just super uncomfortable and probably also will give you arthritis so definitely be aware of that however it is thin enough that your hands pretty much just rest on the desk surface that it's on and there's not too much of an angle used to type so you probably really don't need a wrist rest but I'd say it's about 50 50 whether you like it or you don't like it however its thinness does add to the overall size which I think is a huge plus now moving on to the pebble mouse pros for it are that it's very small very lightweight and portable and really the only con that I have with this mouse is that if you're like myself and you have a little bit larger hands than the average person the ergonomics of it feel a little strange but again it is supposed to be just a small compact portable mouse so it's not gonna be something that's like super heavy on the ergonomic side of things it gets the job done and it gets it done well and lastly pros and cons of the mouse pad first let's start with the pros it's a mouse pad and it comes comes in a color that complements the other peripherals from Logitech. It does have a silky smooth glide surface and this anti-slip back never had it move on me once in all the testing that I did. But what are the cons? Well, there really are none. It's a mouse pad, it works like a mouse pad, and it comes in cool colors. Well, it's not to love. And lastly, let's talk about price. The K380 Mac only variant that we got comes in at $39.99, which is a great price for a wireless keyboard. The Pebble Mouse comes in at $29.99, which again is probably on a little bit more expensive side for a travel mouse compared to some of the other cheaper options from Logitech even. However, this mouse definitely isn't low on quality. Oh, what about the mouse pad? Well, this little guy comes in at $9.99. If you'd rather opt for the larger Studio Series desk mat, that's going to run you about $20. But that's pretty much it. If you're looking for a very small, compact set of peripherals that you can use to work from home, take with you on the go, use for your tablets or your smartphone. The K380 and the Pebble Mouse are honestly a really great option from Logitech. They do have their flaws. However, the true value is in that the price of these products is really not too bad for what you're getting. You're getting good Logitech durability for a very low cost. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of the K380 and the Pebble Mouse. And if you did like the video, drop me one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like the content and the videos that I'm putting out lately, make sure and hit that subscribe button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Already? Just don't know what to do anymore. What are you doing? Thanks for tuning in, and as always, stay happy, stay healthy, peace.